We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. On December 3rd, a planetary lineup alignment happened that even the biggest skeptics in the world cannot deny something so amazing. The pyramids of Giza are lined up exactly the way that these planets are aligned. It's like they built it to mark this time period, but it, it's not December 21st, it was December 3rd. So it was Saturn, Venus, and Mercury lining up perfectly on December 3rd with these pyramids to mark this extraordinary date. And this extraordinary date is 18 days before December 21st, the big 2012 shift. And the thing that is happening, the most amazing part of this shift started December 3rd and 18 days away there's three pyramids three cycles of six 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 equals 18 what is six 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 Baba? is the number of Satan <laughs> so it's three cycles that we've been going through and I've been kind of out MIA since December 3rd because of the intensity of what's been going on. On December 3rd, a major shift has begun in this spiritual, energetic realm. And if you tune in, you can feel it. And then December 3rd came by. Six days later, December 9th through now, the intensity and chaos increased of this change. And in three days from now, which is the end of the second cycle, we're in the third cycle, it is going to be peaking through the next six days until December 21st. So what I wanted to share with you today to possibly provide the most possible growth for all of us is to pay attention. Tune in. Because... What happened on December 3rd, the energetic ether's realm was monotonous, not monotonous, but not shifting until December 3rd. And then this cycle shift happened and we're in the process of three major shifts and it's very intense right now. So. When December 21st comes, the way I see it and feel it is these shifts are going to end and then we're in a new realm, but the shift has ended and we're, it's monotonous again to where before it was monotonous, major shift happens. This is the time to pay attention to the tune in, growth and crazy things can happen, and then on December 21st, the shift ends. And then it's monotonous again, but a whole not new era. Where's Baba's take on all that? Um, I haven't really been paying attention to those three cycles. Um, I was watching something recently, a documentary on YouTube, that's called something like 2012 Breakthrough and it's like an hour and 45 minute long documentary and I've only watched like 20 minutes so far but there was one section in there that just really resonated for me. Um, see if I can remember. It was to do with the energy of the equinoxes and solstices. So obviously December the 21st in the northern hemisphere is the winter solstice um, or the summer solstice down here. Um, and for 2,000 years, the, um, the planets that the solstices and equinoxes have been in have been the same. And we've been in the age of Pisces. And they were saying in this documentary that um, in this time that we're in right now, it's all about to shift into Aquarius. It is the dawning of 
about the age of Aquarius. And uh, so the, the equinoxes and the solstices are going to be in Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus um, for the next 2,000 years. And we're shifting into that right now. Um, and it's to do with uh, the sign of the zodiac that appears on the horizon um, with the sun on those days. So it's been Pisces and the other ones aligned with that. And now it's shifting into Aquarius and the other ones. And what's so interesting for me is that we represent Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. We don't have any Tauruses as far as we know. <laughs> Maybe some of the animals. But around this area here in Vilcabamba, um, there are so many people who are of those four signs as their sun signs. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. One of our friends is always commenting on that. She's always like, there's so many of those people here. So when I saw this documentary and... Uh, and <laughs> oh no. Enough! Do you want me to take it? Sure. And you can finish what you're saying. So when I saw this documentary and it was saying that that's the um, energy that we're shifting into now, I was just blown away. Um, I actually had to stop the video and go and tell people what, it, what had just been said. Um, so yeah, that's kind of more what I've been putting my attention on, is that we're going into that new kind of shift. And um, as I said, I only watched like 20 minutes of that video so far, but I really liked the information they were sharing in there. Um, they were saying how the kind of mainstream media has been portraying um, December 21st, 2012 as this kind of apocalyptic disaster zone. Everyone's going to die and all this stuff's going to happen. And the, um, that's really not the original intended message seemingly at all. Um, it's just about this amazing shift in consciousness and we are kind of going on the up again towards the golden age so do you think there's gonna be darkness for three days i don't know i'm interested to see um apparently here in ecuador our friend said um some of her employees here local employees turned up to work the other day saying that they just heard on the radio and the news here that there's going to be three days of darkness which you know is something that we've heard a lot the last couple of years that this is coming at some point these three days of darkness and it was really interesting to me that some local kind of countryside folk here in ecuador um had heard that and were taking it as very clearly that's what was going to happen so um you know it wasn't kind of like some random new age hippie energy or something it was all right araya went off to rest somewhere else. She does not like sitting still at desks with us. Um, so, yeah, about the three days of darkness, um, who knows if that's really going to happen or not. If it does, I feel like the most important thing for us to do collectively as a species is to um, just stay positive. Um, you know, we've heard this over and over again that it's going to be three days of darkness. So it seems like there's a cap on it if it does even happen. Um, so just stay positive and... <clears throat> stay together with other humans and maybe you might want to have things like blankets and candles and torches and stuff I'm interested like if it does happen if the grid also goes down the whole electricity grid because if it doesn't then you just turn lights on and what's happening with Iceland you were saying something oh um, I was just thinking it was interesting because in Iceland at this point of the year there's almost no light anyway and December the 21st is the shortest day because it's um, the winter solstice. And then from then on, it starts to get like more light and it's like, hooray! But um, if there's no light at all, then it's not gonna be much of a party. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, you said that's it? Any more movie or something? Oh yeah, I just went and looked up the name of the film that I was talking about earlier. It's called 2012 Crossing Over. Um, yeah, it's a documentary on YouTube that you can watch. Okay, and check out this picture real quick. We've got, on December 3rd, Saturn, Venus, and Mercury lined up perfectly at the very tip and point of these pyramids. It's almost like these Giza pyramids were built 
to honor or possibly warn about a specific time marked by planetary convergence? <laughs> it's very interesting, isn't it? Like all these old, way old civilizations showing us something. And the only reason why I'm making such a big stink out of this sort of thing, because I usually I'm just like, whatever, is because I am feeling the shift. It went from monotonous to cra we're in the shift as we speak right now and in three days we're gonna be peaking for six days i'm just sitting here like tuning in that's like that's like key right now let's tune in yeah i think it's pretty amazing that like the thing that really interested me the the shift into the age of aquarius that we've been in the same cycle for the last two thousand years and right now is when it's shifting, like right now. <laughs> and we're alive right now, like what an amazing time to be here. And you might be noticing in your lives that certain things are manifesting that aren't typical. Like um, people might be saying things that they normally wouldn't say. There's like, there's like practically, it's almost like I don't know. There might be, you might sense a bit more craziness, chaos, like, I'm just trying to distinguish, like, tuning in, which, like, to energy and, like, possible things that are actually manifesting that you could actually witness in the physical. Um, just inappropriate things might be happening more, like, things that are considered inappropriate by society, like, people are, like, you know. Just something to think about as you go through these days, whatever. A lot of people seem to be passing over as well. It's interesting, I heard somebody saying um, the possible idea that um, those people realize that they can do more from the kind of bigger perspective. You know, if they're back in just the spirit realm, um, they're not embodied here, then maybe they can see things from the bigger picture and help us more from there. Cool. And so, there are nine days left. In three days, you're gonna. There's a good chance you might experience another cycle shift of more intensity. And I recommend paying attention. I don't like the word meditation really, but focus and stuff like that. This is like the time to do this as much as possible for the ultimate growth and stuff like this during this shift. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. The new era. And this is. And Matt Monarch. And we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.